Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we're still in the middle of self-isolation. Fun times are rolling, but I know everybody is really bored looking for things to do. And so I'm going to do my makeup and then I'm gonna put it on the YouTubes for you guys to watch. So today we are going to do a uh, tutorial for something that I'm very excited about. It is a first impressions, uh, which you guys know I do a lot of. This is something that I should have done after Christmas, but we've been so lax with filming that uh, now is the perfect opportunity to do so. So we are going to use some of the products I received from my mother for Christmas from House Laboratories or Haas Laboratories, however you want to say it. I, I normally call it Haas, but I don't, I don't know exactly. It's Lady Gaga's makeup line and I love Lady Gaga. She is my favorite star. If, if I could meet one person who is still alive, it would be her. So um, I'm incredibly excited. I have not used it yet because I knew I wanted to film it the first time I did use it, but I got a couple really cool things. So I got uh, this little palette with some really beautiful neutral colors and gorgeous shimmer shades. And then I got, this is like a liquid eyeshadow in the shade black. They sell them all in bundle sets. So the palette was separate and then the lipstick, the lip liner and the, um, the black eyeshadow wand were a bundle. And I got that cool bag with it as well. And then the lip shade is this really lovely neutral shade. And then got a lip pencil as well. So yeah, without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, really quickly, if you haven't already subscribed to the page, you should do that because we're fun here and now we're bored as hell. So we're posting all the time. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you should do that. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna start with a lip liner. I'm going to go in and this actually appears to be more of a gloss looking at it. So I may wind up doing my full lip. I don't normally do that with lip liner. I don't normally do lip liner at all, but I'm going to probably go in and do most of my coloring with this and then just add a little bit of a gloss on top, but we'll see. Yeah, so I'm really liking this. I, uh, like I said, I don't normally use lip pencils, but it's going on really well. I will say um, they look, my lips look crusty, but that's because they've got a little bit of foundation on them. Um, but I actually did like, do a lip oil treatment, which I've been trying to do every day to keep them from being dry and cracked. So they are pretty moist right now. So that may be partially why it's spreading so easily, but overall the pencil seems really, really nice. And I'm a big fan of the color. I'm really into neutral eyes, especially with the, um, the black shade, which I know is going to be very, very like bold and dark, which is why I'm wearing black today. All right, so that's what she looks like with just the lip liner. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade. And like I said, it didn't really, I didn't think it was a lip gloss, but it kind of looks lip gloss-ish. It's got that kind of like sticky texture look to it. So we'll see. Definitely a lip gloss, really pretty colors though. I really like these, very, very neutral. And I will say, I don't really have a color that's this light and neutral. Um, it's definitely uh, something that my mom would like, which makes sense because she bought it. So that is, it's like I said, it's not really something that I normally wear, but I actually am a big fan of it. And it went on really nicely and uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it so far. So now we're gonna do the eyes. The eyes are obviously, um, those are what I tend to focus on because I like eye looks more than I care about lip looks. Not that I don't think they're all important. I just like it better. So I'm going to start by doing just like a little bit of a base and then we're gonna go in with the black and put it over the base. Yeah, we're gonna see how it looks. If I recall the whole idea with this little guy right here is that it's gonna go on matte and then when it dries down, it's going to be a glitter shade, which is friggin' cool in my opinion. So we're gonna play around with that, but I'm going to start off by just doing a nice little dusting of this kind of in my crease, just to give it some coloring. And then I will probably go in with that really, really light blending shade and just make sure that it's nice and blended into my brow line. Oh yeah, look how gorgeous that color is. And that was like only a couple swipes of the brush. I'm using a brush that I don't normally use. It's kind of a weird blending brush. Normally I'd use one of my feathery ones, but I haven't washed my brushes in a really long time. And this was one of the few clean ones I had. So I was like, I'm gonna go in with that one. So here we are. It's not like I don't have time to wash them. I just don't have any desire to. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. It's packing on really nicely. There's virtually no fallout on the, the pan itself, which I really appreciate. 
All right, that's what we're looking like so far. Really, really like this color. Very, very neutral, very beautiful. I am gonna go in with a light shade and blend it out. And then we're gonna pull out the little stick and we're gonna see what we can do with that guy. Now we also have some really beautiful glitter shades that are lighter in this. We've got a really nice deep black, which I may need to do like a outer corner type thing, just depending on how much glitter shows up. If I seem, I seem to recall testing this on my hand and being like, holy crap. Um, it st stayed really well when I did that. I remember that for certain, which I'm excited about. But yeah, I love it. It's already, I really like it. I could probably just do this and be happy, but I'm going to, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna make it dark today. Cause that's, this is, this is the real star in my opinion. We need to see how this little guy does. So I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I don't normally do heavy black looks. I'm not a huge fan for somebody who loves black as much as I do. I'm not a huge fan of it on my eyes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do my best to make it look not like garbage, but I'm just, I'm nervous, so. I'm gonna tap it down with my finger. I think that's the most effective way rather than using a brush. Look at how glittery it is. Do you guys see that? Oh wow, that's awesome. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. The more I tap it out and the drier it gets, the more glitter that you find and I am just a huge fan of it. And it's drying down to like a gunmetal shade, so it's not quite black, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. Um, I, I love it though. Let's do the other eye, and then I'm probably gonna go in back here in that corner and probably do that black, the matte black, to try and give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna probably do, um, there's a very light, almost like champagne pink shade. I may do that on the inner corner and on my brow bone. Let's take a look at how this, uh, this other side looks. Let's see if I can make it even. That is the real test. How even I can make it. All right, so that's what we're looking like so far. It is messy as crap right now. I gotta clean it up and fix it up, but like it's shimmery and I love it. I am a huge fan. Um, I think one of the bigger complaints is that I didn't feel like there were a lot of light shades when we were looking at it. Cause I know my mom was like trying to find the ones that she worked best. And she's like, I know you don't wear black on your eyes a ton. But she really liked the lip color. Definitely is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. But I personally would like to see just a little bit more like everyday shades, if that makes sense. Cause I'm not gonna do this kind of like a look all the time, but I would wear these kind of products all the time if that makes sense. So I am gonna go in and do black on the outer side. Like I said, I was gonna do just a nice little, little addition of some black, some matte black. That's what that one looks like. I am going to, just so I can get one eye finished, I'm going to add the shimmer shade. Huge fan, huge fan, I love it. I, for somebody who really, I'm not very comfortable wearing black eyeshadow, and if I'm just being 100% honest, it's just not really what I normally like to do. I always feel like it, it looks a little bit grungy. On me personally, like I've never, yeet. I've never been great at like the whole smoky eye look, but oh my God, I just love this. I, and I, it, it, I am biased because I absolutely love Lady Gaga. So that's like not really fair, but like, um, that's fine. I can be biased. I'm allowed to be biased. All right. The true test is after the eyeliner's on. So let, I mean the eyeliner, the mascara's on. So let's see how the mascara looks. All right, so that's the one I finished. I'm a huge fan of it. I really, really like it. I don't know how it looks on camera. I hope it looks good, but I am a huge fan. Yeah, I think off camera, I'm going to do the other one, make that match, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, so that is the final product. My eyes are so shimmery and they are so dark and smoky, like nothing like a nice smoky eye for our quarantining adventures where I'll be sitting in my house all day. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I am not surprised because I love Lady Gaga and everything she touches is magic. So um, I'm really excited that I like it as much as I do. It definitely means that uh, once I feel comfortable ordering things again, I'm going to have to pick up more of it. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I know it's a crazy time, but I'm 
keeping everybody in my thoughts and prayers and I'm just hoping for all this craziness to calm down soon. So if you want some uh, distractions while, uh, while you are consolidated to your house, confined to your house, consolidated was not the word I was going for, but it is the words I chose. So uh, confined it to your house while you're confined to your house, then definitely consider subscribing to the page. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.